a fine good afternoon everyone this is Patricia and I am traveling for history I am in Woodbury Vermont today and this lovely structure in front of us is the Woodbury Town Hall it is the center of town government of Woodbury Vermont it's located on the west side of Vermont Route 14 in the town's village center built in 1842 it is a well-preserved example of a vernacular Greek Revival municipal building and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1995. Woodbury Town Hall is one of a cluster of buildings at the center of Woodbury Village. Set just south of the junction of Vermont 14 and Valley Lake Road, it is set back about 50 feet or 15 meters from Route 14 between the fire station, fire station, and the village store, although the village store is no longer a store, it is a private residence now. They have signs all over it saying, please respect our privacy. So if you come here, please respect their privacy. Anyway, these buildings are fronted by a common parking area with a small town green separating that from the main road. Ah, small town green, yes. Town green. That is it, folks, right there. The town hall is a single-story wood frame structure with a front gable roof and clabbered exterior. Its main facade is symmetrical with a pair of entrances. The building corners and entrances have wide trim boards and the gable above is fully pedimented with a triangular fan in its center. So, see that right there? This is the pediment. This, um, it never ceases to amaze me how much traffic there is when I am filming. <laughs> Suddenly traffic. So this is the pediment right here, this triangular piece, and the uh, triangular fan light right there. It looks, I can't decide if it's louver or not. Let's see if a close-up helps. Hmm, not really. And the, um, the boarding they were talking about. See how the wide those boards are around the doors? The interior contains a single large chamber with a stage at the far end and a small kitchen in a rear L. The town of Woodbury was settled in 1781 and held its first recorded town meeting in 1806. Its early town meetings were held in a district school near the town center. This town hall was built in 1842 after the town's growing population prompted the need for a larger civic meeting space. Local residents believe that the land on which it stands only remains the town's as long as the building continues to be used for town meetings. How fascinating is that, eh? I'm going to walk a bit closer to this. Um, I love those doors. Look how wide those are. I mean, we have a ramp for the uh, for handicapped accessibility. It is pretty, a fairly steep grade, and then these doors are certainly wide enough. If you wonder what that crunching sound is, that is the snow under my feet, and then we can see. The door handle. That one is a. Uh, it appears newer. Let's uh, let's take a look on the other side. Lots of those. Uh, can you see those colorful things right there? Those are push pins. Can you get any closer, you can see. 
Hard to know. Photographs you'll be able to see on uh, Instagram and Facebook at Traveling for History 1L and Traveling. You know, this door handle looks older. Love the uh, curve right there. Reminds me of a bird beak. Maybe that's just me. You can tell me in the comments below what you think. Let me see here where it says Woodbury Town Hall. I love when buildings are labeled so we don't have to wonder. But this building was so distinctive. I really wanted to come here uh, because the building was so interesting to me. It is collaborated, it's not uh, vinyl sided, and we can tell. I, I'm hesitant to climb the stairs. The snow is, is wet, and although my shoes are slip resistant, I don't want to fall today. That's not my idea of a good day, especially with the snow coming tonight, tomorrow. If yeah. well, we can see the clabbered, right? You can see it uh, has, it needs to be painted. Um, well, it doesn't need to be painted, but it, but it's got a lot of cracking. Um, what's that called? Alligatoring? I think it's called alligatoring. But it doesn't need to be painted. I uh, spoke uh, incorrectly on that. Nice to see a building actually painted. <laughs> um, can I do a walk around? I don't think I can because the private residence is to my right. But I can at least show you this side here. Oh, I see some windows. Oh, I like being able to see. You can see right through across, right? I, mean, I can. I actually can see through the viewfinder, too. Let's see what happens when I put my camera up to the window. Oh, I can almost see inside. Can I see inside? I see chairs. I see a table. I see a single room. A single chamber. And let me see. What else can we see? Is mm. wow, that is a beautiful floor in there. I can almost see, I'm staying on a little bit of a ridge so I can sort of see inside, but not enough to say so. But it's nice to confirm that it is a single, um, a single chamber still. Ooh. Oh, I can't see in at all. But I love the, uh, you see the, yes, the um, ceiling lights. Aren't they spectacular? I love ceiling lights like that. Reminds me a bit of a, an old schoolhouse. And then we have, uh, Hmm, I can't tell what that is. <clears throat> There's one more window here. Oh, not so much ice right there. A piano or a fireplace? See the flag is in there. Oh, you see the tops of the chairs right here. <laughs> I can't tell. The ridge isn't high enough for this end. Anyway. Let's see what the uh, 
What else we see? And this is the back of the building right here. Alrighty, well, this is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. Hope you enjoyed Woodbury Town Hall as much as I. You think it was worth driving an hour and 10 minutes? This is the only thing I came to film down here, but if I may describe what I saw in Woodbury before you tune out and turn off. Driving uh, Route 14, um, heading to Woodbury, I saw a lot of houses that looked like they were lookers in their day. At least two that looked like they were owned by people who owned the business, owned a business in town, the prosperous ones. And now they're looking darn sad, like apartment buildings, but you know, the porches are sagging and things like that. I saw a lot of buildings that looked like everything was sagging and sad. So I don't know if this is a poor town or not. Um, but it's just interesting to note. I'm on all the social media you are, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Would love it if you would follow me. I'm traveling for history everywhere with one L in traveling, except for Twitter, where I am traveling for high one, traveling for HI numeral one. I upload every day to YouTube. Hope you subscribe and uh, and follow me everywhere. Would appreciate that. And until I see you again, which is likely tomorrow, hey, have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye.